Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Slippy Jim here with some Black Ops 3 Zombies action. This is a challenge game on the map Shadows of Evil. The challenge I set myself is to pack a punch a gun on this map solo in as short as possible a time. So it's like a speed run and there is no gobble gum allowed and no, you know, Easter egg related shenanigans. Now, if you are attempting this challenge yourself, let me know your time and if you managed to beat mine. I'd be quite interested to see how you did it. But some ground rules first up here. The timer starts at the beginning while everything's still black as soon as the shadow man starts talking, just like in this video. That's when the timer starts. The timer stops at the point when you pull the weapon out of the Pack-a-Punch machine and you can see the Pack-a-Punch weapon's name in your heads-up display. Just so you know, that's when it starts, that's when it stops. Hey. Now this was kind of inspired by a video that I saw of uh, Pro Syndicate actually. He's gone back to zombies lately, which is good. And he actually did a challenge where he tried to pack a punch a gun in this map in as low a round as possible. I think he got to like round five, which is actually a pretty good effort. Um, it took him though 16 minutes and about five seconds thereabouts to actually pack a punch in, uh, in that video. So I thought, hey, you know what? That's pretty cool. Maybe I can beat that. And uh, it was uh, quite the challenge because I had never set up pack a punch and pack a punch a weapon before in this map. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll have beginner's luck. Who knows? Maybe I was uh, a little bit stupid trying it on my first attempt, but hey, I didn't have much time before I actually have to leave on my overseas trip to India and Nepal, so I thought I would try a few quick challenges and see, see what I can pull off here. I do know all of the rituals and all of the, uh, you know, the quick routes and stuff like for the grapple in beast mode and, and the zapping with the tentacles and the th things that you have to do. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll manage a pretty good time here. We'll see. We'll find out. Now, a few pointers here while we're looking at this. You will need to build points as you go. So that's why I'm grabbing the double points here. It is a little bit of a waste because it's super early and there's not too many zombies um, to actually take out here. But everything that's uh, going to help you in this challenge uh, is going to be an advantage. So you need uh, 2,250 points for each of the districts in the map that you have to go to. All three districts that you have to do the rituals in. Um, after you do that first one. So keep that in mind with your points building. Uh, you're going to have to make sure you're still building points as you go. It is also possible, as you've seen from these first two uh, rituals, we haven't got to the second one yet, but I have unlocked everything I need to get there. You can do everything for each of the ritual locations in one beast mode that will enable you to get there and uh, pick up the ritual item. So in this case, it's the detective badge that we're going to go down and get out of the, uh, the canal area. So if you know the exact routes, you can do it in one beast mode. The other thing is every now and then you're going to see me doing this boost slide. And if you do a boost slide and a jump at the end, like a bunny hop type thing, this is where the detective's badge is located, by the way then uh, you'll actually be able to keep your stamina, keep your sprint going uh, continuously. However, it can be a little bit difficult, especially, especially if you do the timing run. Like a, the, if you get the timing wrong, I should say, like you see me do quite a few times through this video. But anyway, the principle is there, uh, just so you guys know. The other thing is, with these rituals, like this one right here, uh, you don't actually have to kill those shadow alien type zombie things that spawn in. You just have to train around until they're finished doing their thing, whatever the hell they're doing, with the uh, the ritual sacrifice. However, you will get like 10 points if you take them out, so I guess that's going to help you a little bit. The other thing to keep in mind is that for each of these rituals, any zombies that are in this ritual room, when it finishes, are going to get vaporized and you're going to lose out on those points. So you might want to just factor that in with your points building 
because uh, it can also mean that you head into the higher rounds a bit quicker than you probably would want to if there's too many zombies that manage to get into that ritual room. So if it's possible, try and kill all the zombies before you go in there, but at the same time you have to keep in mind the timing of the thing. There's a lot of different factors to keep in mind when working out the best way to get a good time doing this challenge. The other thing is accuracy, accuracy is really, really important with taking out these uh, these beastie things uh, because if you miss one of those those mouth, those glowing yellow mouth things that you have to shoot, you're going to just waste all that time waiting for it to open again. So try and be accurate, try and wait for it to open and then take it out ASAP. So I did pretty good on this one, I guess. And it's going to spawn some of those... Those bugs that fly around as well. I don't know what you guys think of all the aliens and the and the weirdness in the in this new zombies map. Uh, there's kind of like influence influences from extinction in there with the aliens coming into it. Because it used to be just zombies that we had to worry about. But you know what? I actually don't mind it too much because as with Treyarch, as Treyarch always do. There's a little bit of the humor in there. It's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, slapstick type uh, type um, feel to it. As opposed to the super serious, like, extinction with the soldiers and, like, all of that stuff, you know. It, just the extra goofiness just kind of makes it much, much more uh, bearable if they're going to take away from it being pure zombies, you know what I mean? But I don't mind it too much at all. As long as it stays stays uh, very much about the zombies, they can introduce a few aliens here and there if they want to. Okay, so we're heading towards the uh, the next ritual location, the third one that we're going to get to here. And uh, we're going to head into the Burlesque Club and do this one down here with the wig. And uh, yeah, so... Most of these areas where you do the rituals are pretty easy to train in. You just have to be a little bit careful. As with most tight training locations, you actually are better off going as slow as you possibly can so that you don't get them cutting you off and, and uh, flanking you and stuff like that. So try and go super slow and, and just kind of train them around. You can see me trying to take out the zombies here. I'm not trying to take out the... Um, what are those things called? Keepers? Whatever they're called. But I'm um, just trying to take out the zombies so I don't waste all the points from those guys when they get killed at the end of the ritual. The other thing that you have to be really careful of, and at least for me it was something that um, I had a little bit of a problem with. My short term memory is not always the best, especially at the end of a long working day when I'm hungry and... My thoughts are elsewhere and stuff like that, as I was when I did this this gameplay. Just make sure you don't leave the ritual item behind. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, you do all the grappling and the zapping and the tentacle stuff, and then you forget the actual thing that you're trying to get to. It's not great, because you know you've pretty much screwed your, uh, your speed run if you do that. Now here, I think... I come back and I have a hit of the mystery box when I get a few more points here and try and get lucky, but this is a double grapple right here. One thing with these grapples and, and with the zapping and stuff like that is it won't actually it won't actually do the action unless you can see that symbol, unless it's glowing white. So make sure that you're close enough and there's nothing um, between your line of sight to whatever it is that you're trying to grapple, etc. Um, sometimes it can really screw you over if you're not close enough or something like that and, and it doesn't work and you waste all your time in beast mode. Okay, so yeah, obviously every time you pick up one of the sacrifice items, you do get two of those dudes spawning in. They are pretty easy to, to kill. You don't have to take them out. You can just tra uh, train them with you to the ritual area. And what will happen is if they're in the room when the ritual ends, they will die as well. You don't have to worry about them. Uh, but occasionally if they're still outside the room, then they'll spawn back in again and start attacking you. So that can be quite alarming and surprising and can cause you problems if you're not ready for that. 
Okay, so yeah, no jug, no quick revive, no gobble gum, because I'm maximizing my points here. I'm trying to do a, do a speed run here. So risky is uh, is always best for these things, because if I spent the two and a half thousand for jug, it would just be out of the question, pack a punching early uh, in as, as quick a possible time as I could. And uh, the other thing is with uh, quick revive, the 500 points is pretty doable if you feel you need to do that. But um, you're still going to waste time if you get down and uh, stuff like that. So I really don't recommend it. Uh, I don't play with Crook Revive most of the time anyway, as most of my viewers who have been around my channel a long time and watch my Zombies videos will know. I prefer the challenge, the old school World at War challenge of no Crook Revive on solo. But uh, here we're going to fight another one, one of these... Uh, Three headed things. So if those yellow things are mouths and not eyes, where, where the heck is this thing's eyes? I guess it's like the wonder weapon. It's got, it's probably got those googly squid eyes on the top of its head or something. I haven't really taken a really super close look at those things. I've been too busy running away from them. But yeah, every time you shoot out one of those yellow things, you do get one of those bugs spawning in. Maybe it has a bug inside its mouth. Or it's probably like a bug dispenser. Anyway, as I dropped down into the canal, I remembered that I had actually opened a, uh, a rift here. So we're going to click on this and open up the rift. And it just worked out nicely because otherwise I would have had to use another beast mode and waste even more time. And we're going to head through here. You're going to get some of these dudes spawning as well in this location. So you have to take them out to get through to the area where the pack punch is located. They're not too hard to kill. Now, as I said, I haven't really managed to play Shadows of Evil a great deal at this point in time, but I think I got unlucky on round five with these bugs. Um, having one of these bug rounds, correct me if I'm wrong, but I imagine it's random, isn't it? Like. Every, like round four, five, six, there's a chance that, the, that you can get one of these rounds, like with dogs. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's exactly round five, but I don't think it is. So I got a bit unlucky because these things are actually quite time consuming to kill. And uh, I came in, into here. I was like, well, maybe I'll leave one of them and I'll set up these um, these altar things. So you have to place the uh, the grubs down on these. Uh, there's two on at this end. And then uh, you have to wall run across this mosaic or whatever it is to get across to this side. And uh, then you place two down in the center here and that creates a path across the center of the chasm. You don't want to fall down there by the way. Just saying, it's uh, pretty much game over if you do that. Now at this point I really screw myself big time because I'm like, okay, cool, here we go. It's opening Pack-a-Punch for me, right? No, it's not. It's not opening Pack-a-Punch. It's waiting for you to place the summoning key onto the altar that I'm running past all of this time. So you're going to see me, like, just wondering why nothing's happening here. I thought, hey, you know, I've got a pretty good time here, I think, with the Pack-a-Punch, but my... Ritual seems to be taking a lot longer than normally, from what I've seen. But uh, yeah, eventually, after wasting probably a good at least 30 seconds, I would say, you guys can check out the timer that I'll put on the, on this video and let me know exactly how much time I wasted here. But it, it was quite a lot. That's why I think you can do this challenge in at least uh, two, maybe even three minutes quicker than this if you have an absolutely flawless run. But yeah, I finally worked out, oh, there's an altar here, let's place down that thing. And uh, we got more of these uh, these shadow keepers, or whatever they are, spawning in here. And uh, you don't have to kill them once again, you can just run them around and they'll eventually finish doing their thing. Creepy devils that they are. So you can avoid them. But also at this point you want to make sure you're building up as many points as you possibly can. And this Pharaoh that I got um, is, a, is a really good weapon for building points. So it's kind of lucky that I got this in this gameplay. And then the, he does his creepy, hey, surprise, plot twist, I'm an alien. 
thing that he does. And I'm almost, almost at 5,000 points. So I should be able to pack a punch here in a second. There we go. We got the 5,000. Bad timing. We get one of those giant things spawning in, wanting to eat me or whatever it does. So we're going to stick it in the pack a punch here, guys. Now, this is the important part with this challenge. Let's see what kind of time I can get. Remember, I have to actually pick it up out of the pack punch. Am I going to be too late here? Is the technical going to take it? No, we got there in the end. 15 minutes and 5 seconds was the time. So, challenge completed. I was a good 1 minute quicker than Pro Syndicate. Not that it's like a competition or anything, but uh, if you guys want to try and do uh, a better time even than this one, by all means, let me know what time you get. Show me your video if you have your own channel and stuff like that. Um, if you do, I will uh, I'll make sure I like it and stuff like that so people, uh, people notice that for you. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is, I don't know, what should we call this challenge? The uh, the slippery challenge, the slippery pack a punch challenge, whatever. So yeah, this is a this is a great fun map. It's like a million times better than Transit, which was the first Black Ops 2 zombies map. Just saying, maybe they've got the right people in charge of zombies right now. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see what else they're going to bring our way with the DLC. But that's it for me for now. I'm going to try out the old Widow's Wine once I do the old Beast Mode Zappy thing on that. And uh, that's going to be the first time that I try that out as well in this footage. I'll be coming back with some high round strategy guides for this map as well, guys. I think I've got it pretty much nailed at this point. Uh, I just want to get some good footage for you guys where I'm breaking everything down much slower than this video. And uh, letting you guys know what to do. I should have the giant high round strategy guide up while I'm away uh, maybe even starting this week uh, if I manage to get it done in time uh, obviously that is pretty much the same strategy as Doris but there's some, some other strategic things that you can do and that you have to think of especially in the earlier rounds now that they've got this weapons kit involved and the gobble gum and all of that sort of stuff the new weapons and everything like that so anyway, if you enjoyed this, please rate and comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, more Zombies content coming your way, uh, especially when I get back, I'm going to be doing a ton more stuff, there's probably just going to be a few, uh, few shorter ones while I'm away that I'm going to upload uh, in my absence, so that's it for me for now, thanks for watching, Slippy Jim out.